just wiping my hands guys there's a uh, obviously a chicken has leaked somewhere in the uh, in the chiller cabinet in Tesco's so I've got chicken juice all over me and I've already wiped the phone down and oh, it's everywhere and of course you want to pay with Apple Pay and the get all they've got at the tills is like some of that blue roll you know so not brilliant right that's better uh, where's just do my keys as well because obviously I had to handle them for my club card points so what a day I tell you it's uh so I didn't put fuel in as well another expense it's been an expensive week not for hang on we're a bit skew there is that better I don't know I can say like it right oh dear so what we've been getting up to not a lot really just it's the same old isn't it it's just getting back to back into the swing of going back to work and all the rest of it uh, the granddaughter's busy annihilating the kitchen at the minute so she usually likes to bake something when she comes through uh, what's she doing peanut peanut and chocolate cups something like that because she was uh, she, she was uh, saying that uh, she couldn't get any smooth peanut butter from round at the shop so she went with the crunchy so she was a little worried that uh, it maybe wouldn't be all right but I said well it's gonna be fine all it'll mean is it's got nuts in so you don't see them very often a Mustang with the with the soft top don't see many of them around here I see the hard tops more than often of course you can get the Mustangs in the Ford garages uh, in the UK here quite easily now. So I hope you guys are uh, all getting back into the swing of it nicely. It's uh, I've been sort of busy and slightly busier in so much as uh, now that my son-in-law is off work as I am a grandfather again. <laughs> Born on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, uh, yeah, Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, I've got another granddaughter. Absolutely lovely, a little bundle of joy. Uh, we were there again yesterday, actually. Um, because uh, <coughs> we just sort of went through, because uh, just uh, sort of. I think it was more sort of, it's always the guys of uh, we just want to help sort of thing, isn't it? But, uh, you know, it's more of an excuse to see the new grandchild. So, but yeah, she's lovely. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, God, how many is that now? I've got to think, one, two, three, four, six, six grandchildren. I always lose count. Not that it matters really how many you've got, does it? <laughs> They all come to terrorise you anyway in the end. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's been, I suppose it's, it's, it's nice. Oh, so my daughter won't be teaching for a while now. <laughs> She's on uh, maternity leave. So, weather-wise, what we had, uh, we didn't get much snow actually because uh, obviously it was like a, I think it was like a pincer action moving on the UK, wasn't it? We had, um, what was it? Uh, got my glasses there. We had uh, the one, because obviously we live, well, uh, the way the crow flies probably only about, I don't know, 10, 12 miles from the east coast. Um, and Wales and uh, like the high grounds like uh, over the Pennines near Manchester and that we're getting um, the brunt of it coming in straight across the Atlantic uh, but what we got seemed to be coming in from down the north it was like a second batch coming down the north from Scotland down the east coast 
but it wasn't going all that far inland. I think it was stopping somewhere around York area. And this was, when was it? Because we'd been sort of looking after uh, my daughter's docks, and uh, they had me up about, about six o'clock one morning. Was it Friday morning? Thursday morning, Friday morning, I can't remember. They had me up about six o'clock, so I went and uh, let them out to go to the garden and what have you to have a wee and that. And uh, it was just snowing then, but I think we only got about half an inch, something like that. Uh, by the time I set off to work, it was all clear basically. Um, some of the colder, lower land areas have still still got traces of it. It was quite bad uh, out where my daughter lives actually, uh, which is a village just east of Hull. But of course, they, there you see you're contending with the River Humber, not far from one side, and the North Sea, not far from the other. So it's you know you do get quite a lot of blizzard conditions somewhere. But they, I think they had about four inches of snow in their garden there. So nearly quite sort of chilly but uh, no we've seen very very little of it uh, which is a shame after uh, the, the idea was that if, if there was going to be something this weekend I was going to uh, take the drone out and get some snow footage but uh, we've got nothing like I say in some of the other areas there are little pockets of snow here and there but nothing nothing to write uh, home about I know America's had a fair bit like, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty quiet here really. Uh, I know when you get over to the West Riding over uh, Leeds, Bradford, and over towards Manchester, they've still, they, I think they still had some this weekend, but it has been very quiet here. That's it, won't you just squeeze by? Oh God. You'd have had me on the other side of the road in a minute. But um, no, I, yeah, like I say, I was going to take the drone up because I've got some ND filters, you know, because obviously with the glare from any uh, bright white, you would need to uh, just calm that light down a little bit. Also, it means that you can slow your shutter speed a little bit for some cinematic shots and that. But um, yeah, I couldn't, uh, like I say, it's, it hasn't panned out. But uh, yesterday, like I said, the whole of yesterday was pretty much taken up, and then from there we. We also went into the city and uh, picked up some takeaway food, uh, KFC and McDonald's, and I went to both. <laughs> and then went back there, because they're only they're about 20 minutes away along some windy back roads, like uh, from that sort of area of Hull. So I took them, uh, took them there's back, and then uh, drove home, which is about another 20 minutes, something like that. It's, it's not massively far, it's just that it just feels longer because of the terrible roads that you're driving on because it's all windy little roads between villages and what have you. you know, obviously a lot of these old roads never got anything done with them so they're just terrible for the driving really unless you, unless you live in the area and know them very well. This, this particular one I had to go to between their house and Hull, I've only used it probably about twice in my life. <laughs> Not very often at all. I need my garden there uh, sorting out. But what I also didn't get around to doing actually was sweeping leaves. Uh, so I've got like a lot of wet black mush here and there. But, uh, so I'm gonna have to sort of like sweep that lot up and get the power washer out, I think. So, uh, That'll be fun, but the nights are getting lighter now anyway, so it means that you can sort of get more done on an evening when you get home from work. So, although it's still rather cold out, it's, it's just grey and miserable all the time, isn't it? Apart from the last few nights have been pretty clear and empty. Uh, you know, light skies and it's been very cold, but like I said, we just haven't had a lot of the snow, which... Uh, I look forward to it really, I look forward to seeing it, it's that, uh, you know, when you don't see it, you miss a season, don't you? <laughs> it's uh, it's no fun for driving in light, but it's, uh, it is nice to see. Anyway, I'm going to go in, it's going to be a chicken dinner today, because I missed my butcher yesterday with being out, so it's going to be uh, just a, a chicken and veg and some Yorkshire puddings, although Somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to make the trip uh, with my granddaughter and take her home after she's finished annihilating my kitchen. 
So I'm going to have to go and see how bad that is now. <laughs> It was a Christmas gift, so don't judge. <laughs> oh dear, good. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I can't remember who got it off now, but uh, my memory is getting even worse, I tell you. So, uh, yeah, I've got me veg all prepped. Chicken's going to be about another three quarters of an hour to an hour, something like that. So, I'm going to get me veg on. And. Oh, I'll do me batter mix from Yorkshire puddings as well. It's warm. Oh, time for a brew. I've just had to turn the heating down a degree. It was getting a bit warm in here. We're going to open the back door in a minute, but it's, it's, it's getting a bit chilly outside, so I don't want to chill it down too much. But uh, everything's underway anyway. Yeah, Robert Cooper's got a few, uh, well, I say a few. He's put up two videos, I think, this weekend. One was, uh, what was it? One was. One was his normal vlog, and that went up either late Friday night, early Saturday morning. And then uh, he's done another one, um, a gaming one with him on his Star Wars game. So uh, I, was, I haven't watched them yet, I'll be checking them out later. Um, just been too busy with the new baby, a new arrival and everything, so it's just been too busy to really do much at all, to be honest. Uh, got another new product come in, that turned up on Friday, that was um, a speaker, another speaker I've got in. This one is a little portable one. It's quite nice, actually. Uh, quite impressed. But uh, yeah, so there'll be a review of that as well. I've still got a couple of headphones, phone cases. There's a few bits and pieces. So I've got to borrow an iPhone 7, of course, yet for these cases, because of course, they are for the 7. So one moment. Just needed to turn my potatoes down. <laughs> Over spitting, over spitting and spitting a bit. I'm gonna have a mash, I think, just for a change. So, uh, mash, collie, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, carrots, chicken, gravy, Yorkshire puddings. So, look forward to that. What time we at? Quarter to five. Got to feed the dogs soon and give the wife some fresh medicine as well. So, right. So, chicken's chilling uh, over there. Under the tin foil. <laughs> I just sorted that ball before it's gone out again. It's just gone out as well because that's <laughs> red hot. <laughs> so it's GU tens, the horrible things really. So I've just put my fat in for my Yorkshire puddings and given the chicken a few minutes of chill time and then I'm gonna carve that and I'll get me Yorkshire pudding mix in and set up the veg. Oh, I've already mashed my turkey as well, so. But uh, yeah, it's been a busy weekend. Busy doing not a lot really. <laughs> it's the way it goes though, isn't it? So um, but yeah, I'm gonna, like I say, I've got some videos to do. I mean, originally we were supposed to be getting some family turn up. Uh, well, the wife's sister was going to turn up again, but uh, I th think her bloke's gotten uh, yeah. ill, so. There's nobody here. What's up with you? Yeah. Who's that? Hey, you can stop sniffing at that because you ain't getting any of that. You might, if you're lucky, get a bit of it later. So there. That's all it is. She can smell the chicken and she's... She's now licking her chops. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit dark in here. So anyway, I'm gonna go and crack on guys and I'll see you again in a bit. So I thought I'd come up here anyway, guys, and uh, it's a bit quieter. <laughs> Unless the boiler kicks in, which it quite often does ruin some of my videos audio wise, really. Um, I mean, I've got all sorts of bloody stuff in here, some of it I won't use again, some of it I will. I mean, it's like I keep thinking about putting all my vinyls onto, uh, onto disc or whatever, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you can see some of them just there, although what they're doing laid down like that, I don't know, because they're not supposed to be stored like that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, that's an old HP printer on the top, rubbish. 
Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of vinyls and what have you there that, you know, I can, it's just getting round to doing it, isn't it? You know what I mean? And then you think, I don't listen to a lot of music, so then what's the point in it? I mean, some of them are maybe worth some money, I don't know. I maybe ought to just sort of uh, look into it. I mean, I know some of them are worth a bit of money. Uh, you know, some of, the, some of the rarer ones and what have you that I've got. But, um, yeah, I just keep thinking one day sort of thing. But the thing is, you've got to find somebody who appreciates them and actually wants to buy them for what they are and wants to look after them and is a collector of them. But finding that kind of person isn't always easy. So, you know, I mean, I've got a stereo down there, but I haven't got a deck for it anymore. Uh, well, no, I didn't have a deck for that one. My original deck, I'm not sure what happened to it. But, uh, yeah, it's it's just one of them things getting round to stuff, isn't it? What have we got here? Oh, just some few bits of review item and what have you. I, think, I don't know if most of that's done. Uh, what's that? I don't know why that box is still there, that's the Joy Go. I think I've, yeah, I've done those, definitely. But yeah, there's still like a car mount and stuff like that that I've got to do. I will get around to them. It's just squeezing it in between family and what have you, isn't it? I mean, it's like we've got, got one daughter-in-law who's on with driving lessons at the minute, and then once she's got her own car, that gives me less to do there. <laughs> so... But, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. I've still got, at least the, uh, the drone's not up there anymore, the, uh, the old Parrot AR. That's, uh, my grandson's got that now. I rather enjoyed it. I've set it all up for him, the controls on his phone. Because he got a, he got a used iPhone 6 six for Christmas as well so I've set it all up on there put the app on it for him and everything and I set it all up for him uh, before Christmas day so he's all sorted um, what else not a lot else really uh, that's probably about it but I do need to sort a lot of stuff out in here it's just a matter of I want to get the reviews done and then have a clean up and get rid of some of the stuff I mean I've been giving some of the headphones and that away lately uh, so I've gotten rid of some of it but I've still got loads of stuff that I need to go through just pop it all back in the boxes and either sell it or whatever and uh, my battery's about to go so it's getting long anyway guys <laughs> <laughs> and I've still got the, display, the box from the display over there I got it out just recently actually for the daughter um, because I've lent her the because I use the display I don't need the power pack plugged in for my MacBook. I'll only need it back if I come to sell it. And her MacBook Air, somehow she's damaged her charger. But it's, it says it's the MagSafe 2. And to get around it, I remember there's a MagSafe 2 adapter came with the display. So I dug that out because I, I just left it in the box because I didn't need it. I've still got MagSafe 1. And obviously, if I change again, there won't be any MagSafe anyway. It'll be USB-C. So, so uh, yeah, so that's why the box is out. It was packed away in one of the cupboards somewhere. I can't remember where. But that's uh, sorted for air now anyway. So, But uh, what's that? A box off a kettle or something or other. Or a toaster. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me at all, that one. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping this year I get a lot of little bits and pieces sort of ship shape and that. And that was the cue to get the wife her next lot of meds. <laughs> so in that vein, guys, I'm going to say goodbye here. So do take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next time. Cheers, guys. See you.